Hello again, I am Jim Bobble. Welcome back to our cleanup crew challenge for the Green Cities DLC of City Skylines here on the PS4. And as you can see, our new area over here is working very, very nice indeed in terms of uh, not having any major issues with our industry area now that we've got uh, a bit of a population centre over here to feed workers into them. We are having a lot of issues with the traffic though. Uh, we are seeing that kind of usual tendency of the traffic to just use one of the two available lanes uh, to no avail it's kind of frustrating uh, see here you can see that <clears throat> they're just sticking to that lane there all of that traffic none of it is using the, the two lane principle same around the roundabout it's just sticking to one lane and then it gets here and then it kind of starts to split depending on whether stuff is going to try and feed in there or not what I'm going to try and do is maybe move things around a little bit. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but what I'm going to try and do is uh, if I put a, uh, a standard bi-directional road in just there and then put in uh, a one-way road just here to connect up like that, maybe what we'll start to see is some of that traffic split out a little bit more. Now again, initially we're not going to see any real change to that because traffic is on a predetermined route so it knows which lane it needs to be in and it won't necessarily change mid-route but uh, after a little while we should start to see traffic peeling off a, a little bit earlier and so to help with that I'm also going to upgrade that to triple lane as well. And now we're starting to see more of a split in the traffic. So you can see we've got stuff using you know, all three of the lanes. A lot of it is trying to cut through this way. But I've set it up in such a way that it's going in like this. And then it can still go across this way either way. Uh, and it'll feed out down here. But then it still has to loop all the way around the estate before it gets back to there. So I'm hoping that that's going to... Yeah, be useful for the residential traffic, but the uh, the main sort of bulk of the industrial traffic is going to continue straight on to the roundabout uh, and then run down the road that way. So let's just keep an eye on that. You can see we've got a little bit of uh, uh, freight and commercial traffic coming in here with the tankers and the, uh, the hot dog vans there, and they're using the lane correctly to go straight on. What we have lost, though, as a result of that, is that we're now not seeing... Uh, so now we're getting traffic that's getting in halfway and then peeling off just for the right hand lane so I think we might have to go back to a two lane just here Let's see if that actually makes a difference if we go back to two lane just there we should get traffic peeling in on both lanes which they are doing at the moment and then once they get to here they should start to split depending on whether they want to go straight on or turn off here or turn off there. That does seem to be a little bit better. Again, this is where having uh, the ability to do a two slash three asymmetrical road would be really handy because we could just stick with two lanes on this bottom section here, and have three lanes on the top section there. We'd have this dedicated interior turning lane to turn off down here. Uh, and it wouldn't affect, you know, this side having a dead lane. I mean, we've got a lane there that traffic is never going to use because it would just pull into that lane and immediately have to pull back out again there. So rather than having that kind of ugly, kind of just unnecessary lane there, it'd be nice if we could have that asymmetrical, um, you know, third lane on one side, two lanes on the other. It just, I think it would look a little bit better. But at least we are now getting traffic feeding in on both lanes right at the very start of the roundabout. It's starting to encourage people getting in lane on the roundabout itself as well, which is helpful. Now, it's not going to have any impact over here. We're still going to see traffic just using a single lane over here. And that's not going to change until we get another traffic source uh, on this side. So another in, you know, entrance or exit route, probably sort of here where this lamppost is going off at an angle down there. Uh, but that's obviously still to come as we kind of develop uh, an access road either down to maybe this area or more likely to kind of follow the route that our trams are currently taking 
down the side of the hill there. And it doesn't look like it's overloading us with traffic through here either, which is good. Uh, I am going to uh, just tart up the roads in here a little bit. Let's go with some tree-laden roads. So let's go to upgrades and make sure I've got... Uh, I'm going to have to pause for a second because it's going to change all the road directions. But this is going to take all the traffic off the streets and into the car parks you know, along the sides of buildings. It's just going to make the area look a little bit nicer. It's going to have a positive impact, you can see there. This building's happy. It's going to have a positive impact on some of the uh, happiness ratings as well as uh, people are not you know, seeing tra traffic parked everywhere. Let's also do it along here, but that needs to be two-way road like that. Uh, and now we need to change direction on our uh, one-way stuff. So let's change that that way and change this that way as well. Theoretically, we could change that direction so the traffic could come in here and then go this way and then down here, up this way and down there and come out that way. But if I do that, guaranteed, the commercial and freight traffic is going to shortcut its way through here uh, and, and go out that way, which is not what I want to happen. So deliberately leaving that pointing into the area because uh, that's the way I want things to be. Uh, I want to avoid that becoming a, an attractive shortcut for the freight, truck, the freight trucks. Plus, also, when we have uh, traffic coming in from this direction here, then they're going to need to go in that way as well. They're just going to make things a little bit easier. So, uh, we'll leave it like that. We will fix the zoning slightly there, which we created that hole when we dropped in this side street just here. We caused whatever was there initially to dezone, and uh, you know, that bit didn't get connected for whatever reason. Uh, but there we go. So if we unpause, you can see some of the trees are going brown and red uh, because of the pollution. We do have, obviously, our uh, incinerators nearby which are chucking out a bit of pollution. But they do add a little bit of colour to the area. As long as the trees don't die out completely, I'm not too bothered by that. There we go. We can definitely see a lot more people using the tram network now. This is good. This is what we wanted to see. Uh, you know, give that a purpose. And a way to shift people in. And here you can see, because uh, I've also put, obviously, green strips down all the way the side here. Some grass-sided roads to match the roundabouts. You can see that all the vehicles here are now parking in car parks you know, uh, on these buildings as well. It just looks nicer, I think, having traffic where it's supposed to be. Instead of just sort of clogging the side streets a little bit. So again, if I uh, go into my road types and upgrade. Those cars now start getting pushed into the car parks of the buildings. Which just looks nicer, I think. I'll do the same up here. So if you keep an eye on this car park here, we should see that suddenly fill up. Unless they've gone into other car parks. They might have gone into other car parks. Um... But we should, uh, yeah, that one there I think is actually, it's, it's on this road here, which already has that. So that's why that one didn't go up. Uh, are there underground car parks for some of these? Yeah, maybe there are. The car parked in front of that building there, so maybe it's an underground car park. Let's have a look. Any other side streets that we can tidy up a little bit? Nope, it's all looking good. You can see our traffic working nicely through here. Coming in, picking its lane, and then heading off to our uh, exit filter areas. And then everything converging on our roundabout just there. And here you can see this is our. Uh, is this our. Didn't we put a, a freeway connection through there? one I put it put that in or did I do that on something oh, I might have done that on the live actually I think I did that on the live the uh, the live series I actually uh, instead of having a, an exit road that was 
you know, zonable like this, I put in some freeway instead so that nothing can build on the sides of the road. I might leave that as it is for now, but I might come back and actually switch out some of that road for, uh, uh, for freeway road. So, again, all of our traffic just has a single access point at the moment, uh, you know, coming down here, which is why it's a very, very busy roundabout over here. Uh, but as we do start to branch out this way, uh, and create a link down into our city over here then obviously we'll have a second access point uh, and it will help maybe distribute some of that traffic a little bit and again you can see the benefit of having multiple ways into different areas to try and eliminate just some of the uh, the congestion that you might get it's not perfect but it's uh, it's better than it would have been uh, and because it's all one way even when you do get queues the traffic is still going to flow it's still going to move around at a reasonable kind of pace. So uh, what we need to do now is we need to kind of fix this area over here. Now, I like the way that this comes in um, until we get to this tiny, short, stubby little bit of road just here. Uh, I kind of want to change that. So that would mean getting rid of this road here. It does mean, though, ripping up Strawberry District quite, <laughs> quite uh, dramatically. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that yet. Uh, what I also want to do is I want to take out some of these unnecessary bits of road over here. Uh, I'm actually going to destroy all of this stuff here. There we go. And this uh, here is just because the tram lines just abruptly stop for no reason. Let's just get rid of that and uh, convert it to normal road. There we go. So we still have our active tram connection here, uh, which is working fine. That's good. But we do need to sort out this over here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this road here entirely. Like that. It's going to cause us to lose you know, all of these houses along here. I'm just going to delete them out now. Yeah, some of them zoned out anyway uh, and this road here <coughs> excuse me this is going to become our new uh, dual carriageway so uh, let's upgrade through here you can see still got some dodgy zoning going on there look uh, some remnants of uh, when we first came to this area Need to fix that. There we go. We're still getting this kind of angled bit here. And like this has got to be uh, as a result of A, this side street here, and B, from that water tower. It's the only explanation as to why we have that there. I'm amazed it's still there and it hasn't disappeared, if I'm honest. I'm also a little surprised that. Ah, we've got an angled road that cuts in. That's why that hasn't expanded. Valley is not, you know, running in parallel with this road here. Interesting. Okay, now we need to do the same here. So I need to rip out this road here. But what I'm going to do instead of uh, creating something new is I'm just going to upgrade this bit of road here. Like that see how that works and again we're gonna have some broken zoning to fix look at all this just in a bit of a mess take out that little yellow square we're gonna have some potentially broken bus routes that we might need to rework as well we'll uh, check those in a moment There we go, that seems to be working. Let's take that bit out. We'll take that whole bit out just there as well. Uh, and we need to get rid of the bus lanes on this section here. There we go. And then, uh, theoretically, do I need to put them back in over here? Possibly. Let's check our bus lines, first of all.
yeah, we have kind of broken the bus lines a little bit. Uh, so... Let's... Let's see, that's going to loop that way. So, we can fix this by grabbing this stop and we'll see a massive wave of pink people moving as we try and <laughs> resolve this issue. I'm going to drop that uh, stop just there. And then this stop... I'm going to drag that up there. Uh, one of those is the wrong way round. Ah, no, this is the problem. It's this stop here that's the problem. So if I take that stop out... There we go. So you can see we've got traffic goes in this way, around here, and then would loop around this way. So let's put a stop in there to mirror that one. So we've got a little kind of turning area there which kind of loops around part of Strawberry District. So that's that route fixed. Uh, hasn't caused a major issue over here. This land value has plummeted. But that's okay. We can work on that. We can get that land value back up with uh, uh, a reworking of things. I want to move where the trams are. So this whole tram line that we have here, this is probably going to disappear. Um, and we might well do something different over here as well. But that certainly, you know, improved, I hope, traffic flow around here. I'm also going to get rid of this side turning here as well. There we go. So we'll lose some houses here. Let's see how we get on. I'm going to upgrade our road going in to triple lane because we're going to have quite a bit of traffic feeding in off the freeway uh, and having triple lane just means that you know you can go and get into the right area quicker so we'll upgrade that to triple lane it can just handle a larger volume of traffic and you'll see them start to switch lanes so they need to get where they need to go are we going to actually see anything use the middle lane this is the question isn't it or is it just going to go left and right and nothing in between? Uh, we've got that annoying problem, look, of just traffic again using the wrong... Uh, completely avoiding using a specific lane. You know, one car there using the right lane. To go straight over. That is... Uh, it's just so frustrating. Maybe if I change that to standard two road. Get rid of the bus lane. See if that helps. Keep an eye on this junction for a moment, just see how the traffic queues up. And this again is a perfect example of why I would love to have a, a 2 slash 3 asymmetrical, so that we could have three lanes on this side and two here, and then as we approach the roundabout, uh, have two sides coming in off the roundabout and three exiting the roundabout there. I just again, I get the feeling it would flow a little bit better than uh, than having two lanes like that. I mean, we can try that, just see how it. I mean, it might work function-wise, but aesthetically, it just looks rough, doesn't it? Another problem we're having is a lot of the traffic that wants to come back down into this area currently has to kind of come in and loop around the roundabout to feed in this way so again this is the problem with a single entry point uh, for all of your traffic you know all the industrial traffic needs to come in go out this way and then once it's been to the estate the only way back is to come back down to this way here merge in with all the other traffic that's coming in this way and then all of it is just feeding in through here so might be worth if we do have something over here perhaps creating uh, an on off section just here and then feeding some traffic in this way as a as a possible thing to do we've got a cemetery over here that needs to be emptied or it needs to stop being emptied as i should say there we go let's get that working again population 27,000 at the moment that's not too bad there's a big spike 
for industrial uh, zoning and a decent sized one for commercial. We have lost a little bit commercial because of the way we've reworked everything over here. And obviously our industry has changed quite dramatically. Big land value problems over here that we need to kind of fix. Uh, but I want to try and figure out how to bring a road down here first. So let's go freeform. I'm going to build it in small to start with. Uh, where is my roundabout? There it is. I just want to protect the structure of the roundabouts. So that's about my halfway point, isn't it? Ah, yeah, you see there. <laughs> There's that warping that I was trying to avoid. I have to take that whole piece out and relay it. sure I get the roundabout the right size now. I think it's that size, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So what I needed was uh, a piece just there. find roughly the halfway point which looks to be about there if I bring that off there we go now we're protected so take that out and there we go roundabout is restored I need to put the power lines back in so we don't uh, cripple the area in terms of actually no that's no longer needed now is it we've got a complete network across there uh, you know what? I'll leave it in there as a fail safe just in case something goes wrong <clears throat> in case something dezones and it breaks a connection uh, so we'll leave that there like that let's turn traffic back on again And let's go back to free-forming ourselves a road that runs kind of down here. I'm going to uh, make this probably quite a main road, a major road. I want this to go over the tram line that we have here. Too severe. Uh, road snapping options again. Yeah, there we go. Change the elevation steps. that look that looks all right actually it doesn't look too steep doesn't look too sharp there's a little bit of a lip just there which isn't ideal maybe I can uh, tweak that a little bit all right. I'm gonna need to uh, do a little bit of terrain sculpting there if I'm going the right way here. I might be going the wrong way with this terrain. We'll have to see. We can just see the contour lines changing a little bit there. That's still a little bit of an issue. piece out there. It still wants to do the same, doesn't it? Alright. Let's 
take that whole section out there then. And then make that one single piece, see if that makes a difference. Uh, if anything, that's made it worse. <laughs> Let's try that again. And this time we will uh, have another go at the terrain. Uh, let's try raising the terrain here ever so slightly. Try and flatten it out a bit. Take this up an extra notch, then I think. Ugh, well, that's made that unworkable. This is the problem with uh, not being able to independently control our bridges. We're kind of at the mercy of how the terrain just automatically tries to to, to re-sculpt the road. And we can't go in and manually tweak anything once we've placed it down. That's uh, a, a big improvement I would like to see in the future. It's not too bad, it's a little bit rough. A little bit severe. What I'd like to do is to be able to just target this point here and then just manually drop that in a little bit to smooth this bit of road down to a shallower angle. Uh, it just doesn't seem to like us being able to do that. Maybe if I can drop the terrain a bit underneath where that is now. Maybe I can actually get that looking a little bit nicer. The bridge still looks alright, it's just here. Uh, I need to smooth this out a lot more. and create a bit more of a channel like that and then we can try and smooth that out again uh, once we're done let's see if this makes an improvement yeah that looks better looks uh, a little bit more natural a little bit smoother Still perhaps a touch sharp just at the top there, but I can live with that. It's certainly a lot nice, a lot better at an angle than it was. So, we've got our sort of road that runs into this area over here. Now I want to drag that away from the water a little bit. And make that become a main road of its own. Uh, we've also got this area over here. I'd like to maybe bring that out this way. Maybe have the two converge into each other. Uh, Let's see what's going to be the best way for us to do this. I'm going to need to uh, take this section of the tram line out. We can maybe put that back in, but for now I need to get rid of it completely. Let's upgrade. Ah, we've got the recycle centre. Let's just get rid of that completely. Take that to there. Take those roads out. And try and rebuild this junction. There we 
go. And then from here. Let's look to bring this out this way. Make this our kind of main road that runs through this area right for an expansion on either side of the road. And then maybe have this connect up to the, uh, to the bridge that we're building over here. happens to this as we upgrade this all the way across. You can vis uh, visibly see the, the ground being terraformed underneath us every time we change a bit of the road. Uh, and that doesn't look too bad. The bridge looks okay. It's a little bit steep in a couple of spots. The way it rejoins the hill over here is okay. The elevation change around there isn't too extreme. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And we've now got a main link through to this part of our city here as an alternative route. Now, it's slow speed, so what we may see is that traffic will still kind of go down there and feed out. Uh, hopefully that won't be the case, but let's uh, keep an eye on it and see. It might be a way for inbound traffic to head out that way. You can see we've got already one vehicle heading down that route. Let's speed time up. We've got a load of broken trams now. So those trams are all going out of service, I think, because we broke their connection. Keep an eye on what's going on there in a moment. Uh, all those houses where the land value suddenly plummeted, uh, they've all been abandoned. That's not surprising. This is all about kind of trying to lay the, the groundwork for future changes and future expansions. But we are starting to see some traffic using this road. Not much, but some. We could potentially need to make that a little bit more attractive. There is... Uh, a sickness problem as a result of pollution from there. We probably need to relocate where those are. So uh, let's move this. Just going to plonk it there for a second. We're going to move these here. And fit. Ah, not quite. Need just a fraction more length on the road. There we go. So let's move these you know, pollution generators away from where we currently have residents. And then that can take the place just here. Like that. Uh, looks like that one is just outside the water coverage. Oh, it is just outside water coverage. Just extend the pipe a little bit on both sides. That should do it. There we go. Because we're starting to, you know, cause sickness problems over here. So now that we've taken away the source of pollution that was just there, the ground will eventually come back. These people will stop getting sick. Uh, and that'll, you know, improve the land value there a little bit as well, which would be nice. Yeah, those trams are just breaking, look. And then they're immediately coming back out again. Okay, so we need to actually get rid of that route. Uh, trams. Just delete the entire line. There we go. That'll solve that issue. So those trams are now going out of service, which is why they've changed colour to that kind of purpley colour to indicate that they're out of service. 
I see a whole number of people now, um, you know, sort of abandoning the route that they were using and having to walk down the tram tracks instead, or the pavements alongside the tram tracks. Still not really getting much movement through here. I think we probably are going to need to uh, make part of this road faster to make it uh, a viable alternative. So uh, somewhere along here we're going to need to put a break in, put a, a roundabout in, and I think here is probably a good place for us to do that in this sort of area here. So let's uh, create a roundabout down here. And I want it to be a decent sized roundabout because this is potentially going to be quite busy. So we're going to go with six blocks on this one. So we've got our big roundabout there, uh, and then from there, the road will... Actually, I don't know why I'm going with that road. This road will do. This will then continue around here, back to the bridge. Which is currently a uh, two-lane road, but that's going to change. up there and this is going to become freeway bi-directional freeway so again it makes it a fast route which makes it more attractive to traffic because traffic always looks for you know either the shortest or the fastest route uh, or both so making that uh, faster free, uh, faster speed road should make that a more attractive proposition for traffic uh, we have broken a power line down here, but I don't think that's... Oh, that might be a problem, actually. It's connecting to a water, isn't it? Uh, there is a secondary connection that runs around there, so we have got that kind of backup. Uh, there isn't really much over here anymore that needs... It does feed up the hill, though. Yeah, we'll put the uh, the power lines back in. This would be two lane like that. There we go. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave those there for now, but to stop traffic from just cutting straight through, which kind of defeats the whole point of the roundabout, uh, we're going to make it one way. We always make those point against the traffic. that so now we've still got our spokes in there to keep it uh, keep its shape as we start to put side turns on there uh, but it also stops traffic from cutting through because uh, the direction of the road is pointing out from the center so it has to use the edges there we go and now look how much more traffic is using this now that it's suddenly a much faster connection over here that should make things a bit more interesting over here. I'm going to perhaps look at uh, upgrading the roads here as well. Let's try a three-lane roundabout. Oops. Let's see if that makes a difference. I'm watching to see if we're getting some traffic exiting and then coming back around and using the other exit. 
See, that truck looks like it's going to feed into the residential. Yeah, it is. That's not worked. Um, we are getting a good uh, bit of commercial traffic traffic travelling through. Still not a majorly busy route, this, is it? Uh, we're getting traffic coming in, but we're not really getting any traffic going out. I'm trying to avoid feeding everything back to that roundabout, but it does seem to have lessened the impact of the traffic around there, as you can see. So, all in all, not too bad. You can see land value starting to really affect this area completely with the lack of transport options and services now. We've got a tram network over here, which is not helping this area. Uh, and all these derelict buildings are now starting to have a, a knock-on effect. On the other building, so we need to clear these away. Before they start crippling more than the, uh, the area that's affected. Get rid of this old tram network. There we go. And we can put in a connecting road here. Like that. There we go. Uh, again, we've got confused zoning here, where uh, different bits have now been kind of med uh, you know, wedged together. Take that building out and let something bigger rezone in its spot. Need to figure out where I'm going to move the tram network to. Possibly have the tram building somewhere up here. Things definitely seem to be flowing a little bit faster up here now. A lot of traffic going down that road there, which is to be expected. I want to try something. Again, this might not be the best option, but... If I made this all... Ah... <laughs> I have to move that. Blocking the upgrade. And then we upgrade this as well. Take this road out. And I'm going to put in... one-way exit through here instead. There we go. Let's see how that works. I think that... Uh, that could be something that works quite nicely. And again, we've now got space to come out and build something in this area. We've got uh, a turn off to bring traffic out down into here and also around this side. And uh, I think that sets us up quite nicely for our next kind of uh, restructuring. We need to rework this area here. I don't really want to destroy the structure that we have here, but we are losing... Uh, you know, population through this area quite badly because the land is just suddenly becoming, you know, uh, a lot less valuable because there's no jobs in the area now, I think. It's also possibly uh, a potential cause. You know, all the industries moved up there when it was all around here. So a lot of this area now, you know, 
isn't really necessary. We do need to get a population area built up nearer to our industry for our tram services, uh, just for getting you know, vehicles up there via the road. So I'm thinking we're going to build a new housing area somewhere over here uh, and then feed into the roundabout to run population up there. Then we can start looking at turning this into a business park of some kind rather than having it as a major population center up here. Because I'm not sure how many people are in this area, but I would say there's, a, there's at least a thousand people in this little area up here. Uh, and I'd like to get them relocated down here uh, and free that space up for, for businesses, maybe. So that's what we'll look at next time out. But for now, we have sort of uh, reworked our road connection to try and uh, move some of that traffic around a little bit more easily. So. Uh, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob and I'll be back with some more of our cleanup crew challenge for the Green Cities City Skylines DLC here on the PS4 very soon.